hey loves and welcome back to the channel guys it's been a while since we kind of chilled and relaxed and i got at ease and comfortable but yeah in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite new moms essentials items that really got me through my postpartum slash new mom phase i am a mom of a beautiful seven month old baby so in this video i'm kind of going to be sharing with you guys some of the items that got me through after delivery you know got me through months after like giving birth and like taking care of my baby and just made my life kind of easy and less complicated so that's what i'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video so yeah um if you are a new mom you're someone who is expecting congratulations um it's beautiful to go on this journey this is going to be a beautiful journey it's going to be stressful i'm not going to lie but it's going to be so rewarding and you're just going to enjoy every moment and every minute of it so yeah let me just dive right into this video i just want to say that before i start it might be a little bit of tmi but i feel like that's the essence of this kind of videos and birthing videos and just things around this because most times you find out that there are really not enough information because of the sensitivity of this topic and this subject matter but yeah i figured i would just do this because i did watch a lot of videos before i gave birth after i gave birth and a lot of those videos actually influenced my purchase behavior and the things that i got and the things that i got were amazing and i'm here to share them with you guys again honestly speaking yeah i don't even know where how how when who I am going to start this video because I feel like, ah, should we start from the less item that I like, less TMI-ish or should we just go like dive right into it and just like talk about um, things and talk about these items and accessories at the same time. Now I ha do have a couple of the items that I'm going to be sharing with you guys because I do want to show you that I'm using them as well as recommending them and why I'm recommending them at the same time. However, the items that are a bit more intimate like undergarments and all of that probably can show that so I'll put a link to that and a picture as well to that so you can see at the same time. Woof! Okay, let's start off from after delivery post delivery things that kind of helped me through that first week phase <laughs> this is this was the worst phase ever i mean pregnancy was easy giving birth is something no one talks about i do have a video on that by the way um check it out if you're interested but then recovery is wow it's something else it is just Oh, it's something that people need to talk about and create awareness about because there's there are a lot of things going on within you physically mentally emotionally i do want to say that i feel like you're going to be the most emotional that first week after giving birth so do bear that in mind if you find yourself crying for no reason <laughs> um that's why but that first week has a lot of so just a lot you have a new baby that you're you're not kind of used to um you're sore everywhere like you're stressed out i it is something that i feel like needs to be talked about if you guys want me to talk about it let me know down in the comment section but i kind of do have another video on that as well i'll leave it here so you guys can watch at the same time so yeah let's get right into this video first item that i want to talk about is this post Bottom postnatal recovery wrap. Now I got this from Amazon. I do want to say that Amazon and I are kind of like best friends. So in case you're wondering, um, I do shop a lot on Amazon. Um, I kind of find everything I need there. And yeah, it's easy. So this one is from Amazon. This one is from a brand called K Babies. Um, I'll leave the links in the description box, but I'll also put like a picture on here so you guys can see the exact one that I'm talking about. Now, this one is a three in one piece. I have one piece here. I have another one. I have another one. Now, I did have like a vaginal birth, so it was kind of easy to use this immediately, like the day after I actually... The day, no, no, the day I gave birth, I like slept through and like was chilling. So the day after I gave birth, I started using these because this just goes on like super easy. 
and it's super comfortable. So you can use this immediately you give birth. And then after, I think, a week, you can use the second one with the first one. And then after like six weeks, you can then use a third one to kind of tighten it up. But yeah, the instruction, it comes with an instruction manual. Um, you can read on it, but I just want to show you guys this one. This one kind of helped me through the first month. Guys, I do want to say that my genes and my body type and shape played a huge role in how my snap back was. So um, it's not the same journey for everyone. I just want to point that out. A week after I had given birth, I was wearing crop top. And a week after I had given birth was my baby's naming ceremony. I kind of like wore like a top and I tied it up and like that's my style that's me so a week after giving birth I was feeling comfortable enough to kind of show off my tummy and it had reduced drastically a month after I had given birth like I was looking like I did not even well I wasn't even pregnant I'll probably look for a picture and put it up here so you guys can see but yeah this does help in shaping and tightening and shrinking your body and like your tummy back to the initial pre you know pregnancy you know shape but I do want to say that you know it does take a lot of hard work to get back to where you were before you got pregnant because I do want to say that I did add a few kgs while I was pregnant and I'm still in that <laughs> phase I love it, which is why I haven't bothered like shedding it off. I do love how I'm looking right now. I feel like I look like a grown woman now. Before then, I was looking like, I don't know, like a child. Get some of these accessories that would help you trim that down after a month or two months when it's more comfortable for you. If you do, I think, C-section, it takes you about six weeks or three months. I think six weeks before you're able to use any wraps. So do kind of do your own research and make your own um, inquiries about that. just want to point that out. Another thing that I got, guys, this thing <sighs> saved my life. <laughs> saved everywhere. My boobs, my tummy, down there. Like, it was just doing everything for me. So these are um, cold and warm compress right these ones can go in the microwave or it can go in your freezer it does have like small gel beads in it just so you guys can see so it's easy to use easy to apply it did come with about four um cloth to kind of wear it over in case you want to put it on your tummy on your boobs and you know where <laughs> where else you want i'm trying to look for the the last one because it fell off okay i have two here and i have two here i haven't used this two these ones are still brand new if you guys can see i have used this two so i just want to show you guys what it looks like so you just basically put this in you wear it like a cloth and then you can put this wherever you feel the discomfort so if you feel like you need it to be cold you can put it in the freezer if you feel like you need it to be hot you can put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds and it, it hits up right so yeah this thing helped me so much because let me tell you i was having like engorged boobs that first after the first week so my second week postpartum i was having like engorged boobs my boobs felt like stone <laughs> so um this kind of helped um using like a warm compress kind of helped in warming up that and like making it less you know painful i also use this in a couple other areas <laughs> also use it in a couple other areas and oh god it was just soothing guys that first week when you saw it was just soothing i'm gonna keep this and it, this is heaven for me so it came in two pieces so you can use one for the you know the cold aspect of you know whatever you need it for and the other one to like warm up you know so it does come with two yeah you do get two of it and you get four reusable bags that kind of wraps this so yeah i'll leave the link as well but this listen list i mean you can even use this even without like giving birth you can use this like on your head if you're having like headache or you know if you're having cramps or whatsoever but this oh my god oh my god like 
I just put it there and I'm like, oh my God. Like it was just, it saved me. I'm trying, I'm like remembering some things. <laughs> This she saved me and yeah i do definitely highly recommend it you might not have to get the same brand but do get like a cold and warm um compress so that way you ease yourself throughout that process because a lot of things are going to be going wrong in your body within your body on your body so get that to kind of soothe it down okay another item that i did get i did get this bidet bottle um, highly recommended now I got this one from Amazon it did come in a pack of two so it was definitely useful you can save one for another purpose or you can use one for one purpose and use the other for another purpose it's just easy it's travel friendly you can put this in and like pack it up you can put it back on and get going with it it does come with like an interchangeable um, what's it called um like a cap that can it <laughs> controls the sprinkles what's it called but yeah it does come with an interchangeable one so you can kind of change how the sprinkles or the water comes out of the bidets but this one is so helpful uh, so useful when you have given birth postpartum especially if you're someone who has gotten stitches or feels sore down there you might not be you will not be able to put anything through that like anything dry or rough through that so this kind of helps in cleansing refreshing as well as soothing that area i was using like um warm to like hot water i won't say hot water like warm water in here you can mix it with whatever you want to kind of get like that soothing feel but this is good for like rinsing it does have like a perfect angle so you can put this down there and like squeeze it a little bit and like sprinkle a little bit of freshness, water, ease, comfort <laughs> to kind of cleanse out, you know, down there when you have gone to the toilet or like you want to change or whatever it is. But this one was helpful. Definitely recommend one was permanently in the toilet because i couldn't be carrying this but this one is the other one that i hadn't used so i figured i would show you guys this one and yeah this is what it looks like i'm going to have the links down in the description box like i said it does come in a pack of two so yeah <laughs> okay so something else that you do definitely need and that it's, it's um like a no-brainer are a pumping bra as well as breastfeeding bra so if you're someone who has opted for breastfeeding if you want to breastfeed whether it's exclusive or you want to mix or whatever it is you've chosen um you do need a pumping bra as well as a breastfeeding bra you need something that is easy to strap off when your baby needs to feed because you're going to be doing that quite frequent like every single hour <laughs> oh my god yeah you're going to be doing that like at least every two hour or one hour 30 minutes as of when they are like just new when they're newborn so you want something that is quite easy to walk around with so definitely get something that kind of clips off and then you're done with that you clip it back on and then you go about your business you also need a pumping bra to kind of ease off the why are my hands here <laughs> but you get a pumping bra it makes your life easy you can't depending on depending on the um what's it called the breast pumps that you're using actually if you're using um the breast pumps that kind of have like a bottle you definitely need um what's it called the pumping bra so that way you can be pumping and be doing another thing or doing something else while you're pumping now talking about like pumping and breastfeeding and all of that i'm going to show you guys um my should i call them breast pumping <laughs> milk pumping essentials i want to start off with this one because i feel like this one is so aesthetically pleasing and it's cute and portable now this one is the ncvi one i still do have the pack actually i do have the box that came with it this is what it looks like when it comes this is the box that it came with right you do get a lot of items in here this is what this one it looks like now i got this because if you know me you know that i am a rose gold girl 
girl. So I love pink and I saw this and I'm like, mm, what is this? Like a pink breast pump and it's so small, so cute. There is a mirror here. You can literally do your makeup with this. If you're someone who is like breastfeeding or you're pumping and you need to be on the go, you can travel with this. I did travel with this on several occasions. This is like my travel pump because it's portable i can put this in my handbag i can put this in my i guess so small i'm going to show you the other one that i use at home but this one is so small it's so weightless like it doesn't have a lot of weight to it and it's just amazing it does pump amazingly well actually it does extract well and this one this was just 50 dollars guys this was like 52 or there about dollars it was quite affordable so i saw this and i wanted like a backup for the one that i already had and i wanted something more portable and easy to go around with put in the car put it in my bag so in case i'm in like i'm outside and i need to pump i could easily use this right so this one is amazing um it does have it's like a touch screen did i mention that it is touch screen so you can touch this i think the battery is dead you can touch on the screen and then it comes on and this thing is so silent this is silent this is this is actually silent i wish i could put this on right now it does have two tubes so you can pump on both sides at the same time or one side you can easily close one and pump on the other side but i definitely highly recommend this one for the price it is quite affordable and I, you cannot go wrong with it. It's like it has lasted for a while. And it did come with a lot of parts, a lot of flanges, a lot of like accessories to walk around with. Some of the accessories I've not even used. Some of the accessories are even still in the box because they were quite, see, they were quite generous with what was included. Let me open this up. So the ones that I'm using currently are in my kitchen where I store like I still have like stands I still have like the flanges um, they gave me like four extra flanges I have a lot of flanges they also gave me breast milk bags like bags to store your breast milk in as well which was amazing so you can put your breast milk in cut it from here and then like dispense it into your baby's bottle so they gave me for $50 they gave me worth more than $50 so I was quite impressed so definitely highly recommend it the one that I use and the one that was kind of highly recommended everywhere is this Spectra S1 pump this pump is like hospital grade pump it is so powerful it is bigger than the other one that I showed you guys just right now. <laughs> this is like like five times the size or six times the size. It is heavy. My baby loves playing with this. This one is like hospital grade one. It is powerful. I see myself using this for a couple of years because of how like strong and how durable it is. It does have like two openings, double breasts, so you can pump from both sides. Um, you do get a light with it. Can we see the lights? In case you're pumping at night, you can put this on and pump. In case you're pumping in a dark room, you do have, you can put it on. Okay, let me cover this so it's not so loud. But yeah, this is how silent it is. Don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's also silent. It's, it's like that, or it's like the other one I showed you guys. You can change the levels, the vacuum, the cycle, and you can pump for about 30 minutes at a go. Same thing with the other one, and it is simply amazing. Now, I'm going to be using this for years. <laughs> I'm going to be using this for years because this one was quite pricey. I got this one for $200, and I got this one because um, it does work without being plugged. So it does have like an internal battery. Now, I live in Nigeria. I was scared of the, what's it called? electricity situation and i didn't want that to affect my, my ability to pump so you can literally like pump without like plugging this to the wall you can pump on the go in the car same thing with the other one this other one also has an internal battery inside does last for a while so you can pump without even like plugging it to the wall you can just make sure you charge it make sure you charge both of them and this lasts for 
this this thing lasts for days like it's so strong so it lasts for a while and yeah it is amazing it does have another compartment for the bottle so when you're done pumping you can put the bottle here and leave it for a couple of hours again you can leave your breast milk out for about four to six hours and then feed your baby so yeah this definitely comes in handy if you're pumping at night and you don't feel like going to the fridge or going somewhere else to store it you can keep it here and then when your baby wakes up in the middle of the night you can feed the baby or get someone to feed the baby which is what i do all the time after pumping but yeah this one is so amazing this is a spectra s1 get the s1 the s2 is pink which is what i would have preferred but that one doesn't come with an internal battery so you always have to connect it to the wall to pump and nobody has time for that stress please okay now i do want to say that when i was pregnant i did subscribe to what to expect is like an app on your phone um and i did see like um they have like a part for registry items to get so most of the items that i did get were the top three items that were recommended by mom so the spectra was actually the number one and i i wanted basically i just wanted the best so i wanted the best in most of the things i was getting so my baby bed my baby toys like things that i got from my baby were like number one or number two i i kind of wasn't experienced with motherhood so i wanted to opt for things that i figure that i would not regret after buying so yeah this one is the hacker guys this is the hacker pump this one is a manual pump um it is amazing for collecting let downs guys if you are breastfeeding on one side you're going to have a lot of drooling a lot of spill <laughs> on the other side why that happens i don't know but you always want to make sure that you are collecting because you cannot let any milk waste because that milk is a liquid gold see eh? <laughs> when you get there if you're there or you're experiencing this you definitely know how hard it is to build up your milk supply to pump regularly you do not want one drop to waste so yeah um this one kind of connects put it it's, so, it's like a suction cup and then it just collects and extracts any excess um, milk on the other side. So if you're breastfeeding on one side, you want to have this one on the other side. If you're pumping on one side, you want to have this one on the other side to collect any letdown. Again, this one you can easily wash it and you can also put it in your microwave or you can put it in your sterilizer to sterilize it after I use sorry i'm trying to get some things out of it but i haven't used this in a while so that's why it's kind of it was in storage the next item that we have here are these nursing pads guys like i said in the previous one with the hacker you will get a lot of let downs without even planning it it just happens it just you cannot control it so do get yourselves a couple of breast pads and have this in your bag as frequent as possible and also have this on your boobs <laughs> as well because you you don't want to get soiled every time before and after feeding so this kind of helps in catching out any excess milk that comes off so yeah breast pads definitely don't be like me <laughs> these ones yeah we have to talk about it <laughs> these ones are quite intimate I want to talk about these ones first right this one is kind of on every should be on every mom's um list and that's the tox these are the tox pads i feel like my light is too bright for this these are the cooling pad this thing oh my goodness oh my goodness it reminds me of the cold compress oof the one that i showed you guys oh my goodness this thing i don't want to touch it because like it's still sealed and all that but i can even smell it it's a medicated um cooling pad so it does help with healing under there if you're someone that has gotten like stitches after giving birth postpartum and you've gotten stitches it is sore down there it is swollen down there you need something that would kind of cool it down something that's also medicated something that would make you feel more at ease more comfortable and see it see all these things be by just even if you think you'll not use it buy because when that time comes 
you're going to need any and everything to make yourself feel better because <laughs> you can just place this on your pads and wear this and when i tell you oh my goodness when i tell you this thing feels like you're floating on heaven like you're going to start appreciating the little things of this world <laughs> when you use this but it's definitely amazing it does have witch hazel in it so it's just it, it's cooling and you need that basically so yeah um definitely highly recommend it it's also medicated so it's good for down there after giving birth so definitely get this one another thing you need to get <laughs> is this see it this spray over here this spray over here look at it look at have a look at it pain burn itch is for you okay um this one was amazing i feel like it numbs that area um like okay so usually after i shower before i wear anything i like to like just i just go ham with this um it does have it's so cooling so instantly you might feel a bit like a bit of like a shock but after doing this like spread sprayed on it if you're someone who feels if you feel like you have pain there if you feel like it's burning you there use this it cools it down it also kind of numbs it right it also kind of numbs it and it gives you like a fast relief right so this and this are like brothers and sister they kind of work hand in hand but this one Oof, oof. Yes. I'm, guys I, I feel like i feel i feel ridiculous talking about this right now but see it oh my god it's amazing so definitely get this one you will thank me later you will thank me later but again you can use this for cuts you can use this if you have um bug bites you can use this if you have sunburns whatsoever it's not just for postpartum purposes but definitely get this if you are someone who has given birth another alternatives that i kind of also tried out um these ones are from they're developed by um midwives and i find out that midwives are amazing when it comes to birth giving birth you know child care and all of that they kind of are experienced in that area these ones are from the natural birthing company yeah so i do have two i think i got three from them um let me see if i can get the last one but this is the bottoms up it's a soothing bottom spray right so you can spray this on the bottom <laughs> you can spray this in your private area and also feel like a soothing instant relief guys it's almost the same thing as this one but like i said um before giving birth i wanted everything that i could get that could help me in within that phase so i kind of wanted to try this definitely also amazing definitely also amazing actually smells amazing this is what it looks like bottoms up now this is another one again from the same natural birthing company this one is called the pure bliss again this one you can put this is good for like a compressed solution with this one you can kind of mix a couple of i think about two full pipettes of this mix it with cold water apply it to your um, pad and when it's cold make sure you kind of mix it well and then like wear it on you can use this for about 30 minutes and it's supposed to kind of soothe you at the same time so yeah it's almost they all kind of do the same thing but i wanted different products from different brands and i also kind of was leaning towards this one oh don't think twice on it it's it's highly recommended so next up we have this we have this you can call this the incontinence fight oh <laughs> um, this one is the always discreet um boutique um this is what it looks like i found this kind of helpful and easy to work around and let me just take one out of this it's like a pant and a pad at the same time so it's like two in one it's black it's comfortable it's easy to wear like this is what it looks like and this is what the inside is like so you can pull this up to your tummy or your navel area 
and get all comfortable. You can layer this on with another pad and you know you can put your solutions or your compress or your you know whatever it is you want to kind of ease yourself with on here and you know get comfortable i feel but this you just use and <laughs> dispose so yeah um i still have this <laughs> i still have this um i got a couple of this because i got a lot of brands i got these brand i think i got about two or three of these but i wanted to show you guys this one because i feel like this is just easy it's quick and like it's like on the go right you don't have to wear like wear your postpartum panties um you don't have to wear that <laughs> you don't have to wear the postpartum underwear you know those underwear that just looks terrible so you can wear this one it comes with a pad and you can just dispose of it when you're done with it but yeah this one definitely recommend definitely give it a try um it wasn't really my best but i definitely still recommend it's uh, something to kind of try moving on to the next item that is the seat spots guys this one goes directly on your toilet right and you can sit over it you can mix let me push this out sorry let me push this out yeah so you can mix in here um like an epsom salt you can mix in here whatever soothing reliever you want you can mix in here like warm water just something to kind of ease the process also heal you up and kind of extract nonsense from the tummy so this is definitely definitely highly recommended um you can just work with warm water warm to hot water Put this down sit on it and do this a couple of times i did my thing about once a day or twice a day i can't really remember i think about once a day at night but you can do this once or twice a day to kind of heal the process faster according to the moms <laughs> but this was also amazing you can just spend like 30 minutes um me time you know just 30 minutes is too much maybe like 10 minutes or five minutes soothe yourself pack it back up and stash it somewhere so yeah so the next item that i definitely highly recommend guys i feel like no one talks about this no one really talks about this until you have given birth and you're going through hell and then they start saying oh yeah that's that's normal use this get i'm like huh what is normal about this guys you want to have get yourself nipple cream guys this one is from medela there are different companies with different brands but you want to get something that has a um, lanolin cream um this helps in soothing your nipples right because your nipples are going to be cracked they're going to be dry they're going to be bleeding they're going to be torn they're going to be going through hell because your your bundle of joy is trying to feed vigorously on it and it has never experienced such sensation right for some people well i i was crying while i was breastfeeding at one point i used to hate breastfeeding um the first week after giving birth my baby was taking a mix of breast milk and formula and i was kind of second guessing my life if i wanted to do this exclusive journey because i felt like um i would have to go through this pain for weeks and then for months and then throughout the duration of my breastfeeding journey and i didn't want to do that because that that thing was terrible however it did get better after a couple of like after like a week or two after my baby latched properly and everything else kind of fell into place but definitely get this you can be using this like a week before you give birth a month before you give birth just to massage your nipples get your nipples supple yeah we're talking all about that but get it supple get it ease at ease um use this when before feeding after feeding just be rubbing this and be massaging like just spoil your nipples with this because your nipples are about to go through hell and this is the only thing that might be able to save it <laughs> the next one that i'm going to show you guys is this um i'm not going to talk specifically about this brand i'm going to talk about the content which is a breast milk storage bag it's so important um i did get a lot 
of storage bags from different brands i'm going to list all of them down in the description box but i'm also going to share them here i got the one from lancino the one from adela i got another one that i still have in this drawer over here like i have oh i had like breast milk storage bags everywhere i got a lot a lot from different brands just to try and see which one i prefer i do have, have this um remaining i do have another one inside so this one is from nano baby it is thick i do love it. it might not really be my favorite but i kind of still would recommend it yeah so definitely get yourself as much storage bag as possible if you're someone who wants to breastfeed and you want to have the option of having someone else feed the baby or you want to create your own stash you want to preserve it in the fridge in the freezer you want to increase your milk supply whatever it is you shall just want something to be storing your milk in because see if you're someone who breastfeeds exclusively like the baby feeds on your boobs how are you surviving how are you surviving see i don't know how like I, oh god thank you so much because i would not like I, I, I def definitely recommend getting yourself an external um, breast milk storage aside from being stored in your boobs. I'm not sure which brand I kind of prefer, um, but I feel like they all just like, do the same. I think I like Lancino because Lancino kind of stands. This one cannot stand. You can't kind of, you can't pump and then keep it on the table because it would kind of pour. So you have to pump pour it inside zip it and then lay it down flat but i, I guess it does serve the same purpose but yeah get yourself breast milk storage bags it's so important you can never have too much okay so something else that i'm going to kind of recommend but this one is subject to your physical form to your boob form and these are nipple shields now i did have inverted nipple which kind of meant that like my nipple wasn't protruding out so it was kind of hard for my baby to latch on instantly so something i was using were nipple shields at the beginning part i don't know if it helped i think it did help because it helped in forming that like nipple like shape that protrudes out and it kind of helped for the first um weeks and i was using that i was actually using the nipple shield to pump using my um breast milk pump actually so i was pumping with the nipple shield because <laughs> my nipples were not complying with me and yeah it kind of helps so if you're someone who has like an inverted nipple definitely get them try them out see if it works i mean this journey is all about like trial and error and kind of figuring out what works for you what doesn't work for you how to improve how not to improve everyone's journey is totally different um totally unique i mean you cannot see the same thing happen for one person happen for the same person and that's why it's so beautiful okay we're here hey <laughs> why do i feel like you're you can't be shy because you're, you're used to this oh welcome to mommy's channel huh? yeah and you're smiling you like my signage at the back Let's continue. I have my my baby boo. Hey. Ah. Ah. So mommy, mommy is filming a video on like new mom essentials, things that helped me get through this new mom phase when we were still like a little baby. See how big he has grown. If you guys watched my video, my first video when we came back when i showed him and you were so small i was literally carrying you with one hand now i can't carry you with one hand because you have a lot of energy you have a lot of energy you came at the perfect time because now mom is talking about breast feeding covers right so if you're someone who um you kind of see yourself breastfeeding in public i'm not that kind of person <laughs> i'd rather die than to bring my boobs out in public and breastfeed um it's just my own preference you can do whatever you want but for me it's a no no <laughs> i cannot <laughs> so definitely recommend getting yourself some breastfeeding covers these ones are amazing 
Um, you can wear this in multiple ways. This is also from the same brand, um, K Baby, I think. Yeah, the same brand as the postpartum um, three in one wraps. You want to talk as well? These ones, you can easily wear these ones over your neck, right? And then, or you can wear it as a tube top. You can wear it as a one-handed um, shirt. Or literally, there are like multiple ways you can wear these to breastfeed. And then you can breastfeed underneath it. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a shirt on its own, <laughs> to be honest with you. But a shirt with a lot of space. You like it? You like it? So it's a shirt with a lot of room for adjustments, for modifications. <laughs> I also have the apron. The, oh my goodness. I also have the apron one, the apron like one that kind of like you just wear, tie, tie at the back, and then you can put your baby inside and breastfeed away. But yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. So I have one more item to show off. Will you let me show it off? So the last item. Kakasin. Don't you want mommy to film and finish her video? You're shocking me. You're shocking me. Baby boy. Baby boy. Baby boy. How are you? I love you. I love you. The last item I'm going to be sharing with you guys is a baby carrier wrap, guys. If you're someone who has a newborn baby, um, they're not going to be going anywhere, unlike this old little man over here who just wants to do everything and like at the same time. Newborns are quite delicate. They just want to eat, sleep, and poop. So yeah, um, definitely recommend getting a baby carrier wrap. Um, the ones that I love are the ones that you can kind of wrap around your body. So you can wrap your baby around your body tight, in a tight way, so that that way they feel like they are close to you. Abby, they feel like you're close to you. They feel your body warm. They can hear your heartbeat because they are wrapped around you over here. Um, you can, they can feel your motion. So if you're moving, you're also soothing them at the same time. Definitely recommend that one. However, as they grow, um, I do have a couple more items to share with you. But I feel like that one is more soothed towards my baby. So I'll have another video on newborn essentials where we and you and me two of us would kind of talk about the things that you love and the things that kind of also helped you i have a lot of items i definitely would recommend for newborns at the same time but i wanted this one to be kind of tailored to new moms so definitely get the carrier wraps tight around you it's like weightless it doesn't take up space it's like wrapper it's like it's just like a wrap like a long cloth that you can tie around your body and put your baby inside and you can literally do anything you want <laughs> without being stressed so definitely recommend it and yeah so i guess that's the end of this video we've come to an end carson carson we've come to an end clap for mommy I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys found this insightful. I hope you entertained them as well. What do you think? No? Yes? But I hope this was entertaining. I hope it was educative. And I hope you guys maybe might pick a thing or two from this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Yes. Um, like, share, comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, make sure they stay fabulous and stay blessed. But what do you want them to do, baby? <laughs> What do you want them to do? Do you want them to subscribe? <laughs> Say subscribe. <laughs> Say subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> I literally cannot wait for you to start talking. I literally cannot wait for you to start talking. So subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay fab and stay blessed. Bye, guys. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Look, look over there, baby. Say bye. And then you won't stay here. Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya Yeah, I wanna do it all again So I keep